After Mamta Banerjee, now Aam Aadmi Party seems to be setting the terms for the Congress Party. Punjab Chief Minister Bhagwant Mann saying that we will fight on all 13 seats in the state of Punjab, will not compromise with the Congress anymore. It is a double whammy for the Congress Party on this day. Rupashree joining us, getting us more details. Uh, Rupashree, we've heard the Aam Aadmi Party say this in the past as well as far as Punjab goes that they are not going to be compromising. But now Bhagwant Mann going on to say that on all 13 seats they would be fighting, conceding nothing to uh, the Congress. Well, uh, absolutely. In fact, uh, Bhagwan Man had actually gone a step further uh, when he was in Delhi last and when he was asked by reporters, he actually went on to say that uh, we are going to win all 14 seats, including Chandigarh. Uh, so, Aam Aadmi Party actually is not at all keen on an alliance with the Congress Party in Punjab. And as per our sources, even the Congress Party is not keen on sharing any space with the Aam Aadmi Party in Punjab because the Congress has around se uh, six to uh, uh, seven uh, sitting uh, MPs in Punjab. And uh, with 13 seats, uh, then neither party sees, uh, act, uh, sees it actually as a, uh, you know, doable uh, uh, formula emerging uh, in the ground of Punjab. The second reason, of course, uh, is that uh, both Amadi Party and the Congress Party believe that uh, should they tie hands together in Punjab, then uh, the opposition is to be left completely uh, to be uh, taken over by uh, the uh, by the uh, Akalis and the BJP. Uh, so they, are, uh, they think that why give uh, the Akalis and the BJP any ground for revival at all? Yes. Uh, so those are the, uh, the reasons that is uh, playing on their minds. But of course, the, the timing of uh, Bhagwan Man's statement is very important. because Absolutely. Rupashree, sorry to interrupt you. There, I'll come back to you for more perspective. But Amadmi Party is uh, above Singh Garewal joining us here on this broadcast. Uh, so thank you so much for speaking with us here on CNN News 18. We've uh, heard Bhagwan Man in the past. Uh, speak of how uh, the Congress uh, will not be able to have an upper hand in Punjab. Once again, going on to say that uh, we will fight on all 13 seats in Punjab. Is this the final decision or is there still room for compromise? No, this is the final decision in Punjab and we've been very clear for the past few months now. We've been told by our leadership, first Mr. Man announced that we will fight all the 13 seats in Punjab. And then Mr. Kejival gave us instructions and then Dr. Patrick came and gave the organization instructions to prepare for all 13 seats in Punjab. And the rationale behind this is that we have already defeated the ideology of religious politics and of dynastic politics in Punjab. So we don't see the need to align with anybody in Punjab, especially our fight is against uh, the uh, divisive ideology that the BJP brings to the table all across the country. But in Punjab, we've already defeated that ideology. So we don't feel the need. And secondly, we came on a plank which was against the corruption of the Congress in Punjab, uh, which according to Mr. Navjot Siddhu was one of the most corrupt parties around. So therefore, we don't feel any rational to uh, align with them in Punjab. And we are very clear that in Punjab, there will be no compromise. But sir, how do you think that is going to fare for uh, the India Alliance as a whole? Because like you just said, that uh, you fought on the plank of the Congress being a corrupt party as far as Punjab goes, but you are in alliance with them for the rest of the country. Yes, uh, well, uh, between the devil and the deep sea, uh, at least they are secular. That's the thing. Our, our fight against uh, the BJP is uh, the kind of power the BJP has been doing, the divisive politics. We want that all the opposition votes should be united and we are, we are ready to make any kind of compromise about it. We want our ideal our ideology to disseminate from Punjab. And for that, we need to have a strong base in Punjab. And uh, that's what we are uh, actually building on. Any other state, we are ready to compromise. And uh, it, you will see the results. And we don't want the opposition vote to be divided. Sure. So you're saying that there will be no impact as far as uh, the opposition's chances as a formidable front against the BJP is concerned? Even though we no, see friction at uh, different state levels, we have uh, Punjab, we have West Bengal, where Mamta Banerjee is not conceding either. Well, it's not as if there's no precedent for it. Uh, thing, the, these things have happened. Like the left and the Congress have been uh, opponents uh, in the state, but yet they've been together in the centre. Uh, the rationale behind this is that almost 65% or 63% of the nation does not vote for the BJP and the NDA. And the effect it's having is that now uh, you see BJP leaders start talking about the NDA rather than the BJP. And especially if they feel they're so strong, why would they try to invoke uh, an idea which they have killed themselves? That's because they're scared. And if you look at the partners that they have uh, in the India, I don't think there's any established party in there. So the BJP is trying to stitch up a ragtag coalition of uh, caste-based or dynasty-based parties who do not have a base. We, on the other hand, represent almost 62-63% of the country's electorate. So once that opposition vote is united, uh, we're sure uh, uh, the BJP will see the end of its divisive vote.
Sure, Mr. Garewal, thank you so much for speaking with us here on CNN News 18. The Amadmi Party, they're going on to reiterate that we are not going to concede any seats in Punjab. Other states, of course, are in the talks. And Rupashree, seat sharing uh, conversations have been happening between the Congress and the Amadmi Party as far as Haryana and Goa especially are concerned. Uh, well, absolutely. In fact, uh, what our Party Party wants is that it is going to le leverage its uh, strength here in the national capital, share space with the Congress Party, and then uh, you, uh, you uh, hope that the Congress Party reciprocates in states like uh, Goa, in Haryana, and in Gujarat. Remember, just uh, recently, Arvind Kejwal had, has already been to Goa and addressing workers over there, he actually said that on the table, in negotiations with the Congress Party, Goa is also there. That is, a parliamentary seat in Goa is there for the Amadmi Party. It remains to be seen whether Congress Party sees the space in Goa also or not. Why? Because Goa just has two parliamentary uh, seats, uh, you know, and, and uh, if Congress Party gives up one for the Amadmi Party, then Congress Party would be giving up 50% of, uh, you know, uh, uh, it's just 50% uh, of its uh, seats uh, uh, in uh, Goa. So it is very unlikely that Congress Party would see space to the Amadmi Party in Goa, but that is what Amadmi Party wants. Uh, secondly, since Haryana is adjoining uh, Delhi and Punjab, Amadmi Party uh, actually is uh, working very hard on the ground in Haryana uh, to get some electoral success over there. Last time also, during 2019, a uh, talk between Amadi Party and Congress broke down because Congress did not want to share space with Amadi Party in Haryana. Congress Party has its valid reasons because Amadi Party has little or no political presence in Haryana. But Haryana is something also that Amadi Party is looking at. Having uh, said that, and remember in Gujarat, Amadi Party has already declared uh, the Bharu jersey. And it remains to be seen what uh, the Congress Party says to that. But whatever the uh, situation on the ground may be, uh, what we are getting to learn from our sources is that the top leadership within the Ahmadi Party is keen that the, this alliance works out. And for that, if they have to let go of a seat here and there, or concede to the demand of the Congress in some places, then the Ahmadi Party would be willing to do that. Right. Uh, Congress Party also has uh, you know, uh, said similar things uh, to, uh, to, to its allies uh, in, in, in the meeting. And also, the crucial was the meeting between Ahmadi Party, National Convener Arvind Kejwal and Rahul Gandhi at Mr. Khargi's residence. Uh, remember, Arvind Kejwal had been asking for a one-to-one -one with Rahul Gandhi. Uh, you know, uh, uh, in, in fact, before uh, yeah, the Delhi bill was tabled in Parliament, but Rahul Gandhi had not just to that. But that meeting has already happened. And therefore, uh, also looking at Chandigarh elections, where both the parties have come together in order to defeat the BGP, uh, mm. There is no threat to the alliance or the kind of understanding that is there between the Amadi Party and the Congress Party. But sure. it remains to be seen how the seat sharing formula works out on the ground. Absolutely. And what uh, happens next as far as these nitty gritties go? Will the India Alliance be able to find that common ground? We're not too far away from Lok Sabha elections. Can they manage to put up a formidable front against the BJP? That's the question that everyone's asking. We'll keep a track of that and much more here on CNN News 18. For now, it's time for a quick break. Back in just a few minutes.